Here I am in the orchard uh, just across from my home, uh, glad to be sitting outside recording this, where our theme today is about health and healing. We're going to look at a scripture in Mark chapter 1 about Jesus the healer. There's no question that in this time of coronavirus, we've got incredible health and healing emphasis everywhere. Daily conversations about ventilators, PPE, intensive care wards, um, it dominates uh, so much of the news. So there are two ways at least in which health is affecting us right now. Uh, firstly, of course, we want to give praise to God for the way so many medics, cleaners of hospitals, nurses, physiotherapists, uh, people working hard in hospitals all over the world, some of them under enormous pressure, in corona wards, struggling to cope with the influx of people who are coming to them, wondering how to help them because there's no cure for this uh, virus. So it's simply a matter of uh, offering love and support and as much medical help as possible while giving the body time to fight this uh, horrible virus. So we can thank God today for all that's going on in health and healing. Uh, I'm sure that in Jesus' day, um, the disciples particularly, and the people Jesus healed, were incredibly grateful for his healing power. Mark 1 verse 29 says this, as soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever and they told Jesus about her. He went, took her hand, helped her up, the fever left her, and she began to wait on them. And that evening after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon possessed. The whole town gathered at the door and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. So this is the ministry of Jesus. Uh, and it's something we can praise God for. That even with all the advances of modern medicine, um, we still know there are mysteries we can't solve. We can't cure this virus. Uh, our hands are in the hands uh, of an infinitely wise and loving God. So we need to be reminded about the miracle of prayer and the healing power that Jesus had in the New Testament and the power to heal that God has today. And this is particularly important that while we're praising God for those who work in our health services and being grateful for them, there is a downside to this about which we must also pray. There's quite a lot of evidence that more people are going to die as a result of the lockdown than as a result of the virus. That's not to say that governments aren't doing the very best they can to deal with this disease, but it's a recognition of the unintended consequences. Roughly 200,000 scans and tests each week in the UK are not happening. Cancers are going undiagnosed and missed. Lots of people who need routine care in a hospital or in a doctor's surgery are not getting it. Uh, I know of many, many cases of people talking to me of where the National Health Service simply isn't functioning for them at the moment. Uh, I have my own uh, family experiencing the National Health uh, with great kindness from individuals, but a deep dysfunctionality about the appropriate tests that are needed uh, and care that simply isn't being given in this sad time. Potentially, in the UK, as many as two million routine operations have been abandoned, postponed. Uh, it's one thing to call them routine, but if you're waiting for that surgery, it doesn't feel very routine. And indeed, if it's delayed for long, the routine might turn into non-routine, into urgent care. So I think we need to recognise that there is that fear in the population as a whole, not just in the UK, but around the world. There's a fear of what this might come to. And so we need to be praying for one another in our bodies and in our minds and spirits that the health that Jesus wants to bring will be experienced by us in quite a sad and pressurised time, even in the most affluent and rich of the countries in the world. This is by no means a straightforward dilemma. So today, as you read these verses in Mark 1, thank God for Jesus the healer. Pray for those who are anxious about their health and sick and waiting for medical intervention that may be some weeks or months away now. And praise God for those working night and day 
to care for corona victims, even sometimes at great risk for themselves. So enjoy Mark chapter 1. Praise God and pray today and thank him that we follow a Jesus who is a healer.